first thanks to all my subscriber and like uh, here we put the example of ray optics for neat and z as shown in figure two thin prism we take here the two thin prism p1 and p2 are combined to produce the dispersion without deviation ray so this is the rays <coughs> this is incidence this is last emergence so this is the without deviation angle of prism is first 5 degree for p1 and the refractive index is 1.5 for p1 and the angle of prism is 4 degree for p2 so refractive index of p2 is blank so answer is a 1.63 b 2.13 c 1.2 and d 2.7 so here we combine the prism with some separation here and we take the two thin prism so the degree angle of prism is very small 5 and 4 here this is the prism p1 and p2 here so produce dispersion without deviation so we this emerge this incidence ray this type without deviation <coughs> and the refractive index is 1.5 and the degree is 5 p1 and p2 is 4 and 4 degree so the it is no easy for solving all type of student so i give the best short trick for solving it so prism here the one point index is we consider here n1 is equal to 1.5 for prism for prism p1 and n2 is we require here for prism p2 for prism p2 so short trick is n2 is equal to theta 1 by theta 2 in a one bracket take into take other bracket n1 minus 1 and last put plus 1. So this is the short trick for solving it. Two thin prism. So theta 1 here we take 5 by 4 theta 2 and 1. 1 1.5 minus 1 and last plus 1 here. So 5 by 4 is 1.25 into 0 0.5 plus 1. So, 1.25 is equal to 0 0.625 plus 1. So, answer is 1.625 nearest to 1.63. It is a answer. So, our answer is here A 1.63. <coughs> so, this is the base short trick for solving it with easily you save your time and it is suitable for all type of students so n2 is equal to theta 1 by theta 2 into n1 minus 1 in other bracket plus 1 theta 1 here v1 for prism p p1 5 degree and theta 2 g1 is 4 degree so put here and simplify it you find the answer. So, I put many short tricks in my videos. So, please subscribe my channel.